Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby and today we're taking a look at the PWAG all square snow tire chains here on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator. So this can be a very nice way of giving you guys that traction control that you're looking for, whether it be on roads or just a little bit of off-road use. Now, primarily, I don't think these are gonna be your best bet for actually going through the backwoods. Now, are they gonna do the job? Probably, yeah. I might look at something a little bit more heavy duty, but I, what I do like about these guys, still gonna be road safe for ourselves. And our 5.6 millimeter thickness here on our chains isn't gonna be too aggressive and can make for a little bit more of a smoother ride. Now, is it gonna be the smoothest? Probably not. And why that is, we do have a ladder style chain here today. And what that is giving us is these big gaps here on our tire. And then of course, are straight across chains. Now, that gives us really, really good start and stop maneuvers. We're gonna be able to get that traction control we're looking for to either get up and over that ice or to come to a, a aggravated stop, which is gonna be good. Now, the only thing to that though, you are gonna lose a little bit on your turning radius. And what I mean by that, well, if we go to make our left or our right, we're gonna to have to give it just a little bit more get on that acceleration to actually get over our hills and our valleys. And that can kind of end up ruining your turning radius just a little bit. Now we also are going to have a high quality nickel manganese alloy on here, which makes it really, really resistant to corrosion. You love to see that, especially if you have all those chemicals on the ground. And to that end as well, a little bit of spritzing this down can go a long way. Getting all those chemicals off of our chain, that way they're not sitting there for too long. It's going to make sure they stay nice and pretty. And to that end too, if you guys do have a little bit of oil and grease, put these on it or put them on it on the off season. That way they're ready to go the next time you need them. So a couple notes before we get to our installation of these guys, we do have it here on our 255, 70, R18 tires. Let's make sure we're putting our own tire size into the fit guide here at eTrailer.com. That way we get the right fit for our vehicle at home. And to that end as well, we do have it here on our front wheel. Why is that? Well, all the Jeep Gladiators are gonna be coming pretty standard with that four x four drivetrain. So we have all four of our wheels working. The easiest, safest bet is to go ahead and grab yourself two sets of pairs of chains. That way you have one for your front and your rear. But if you are deciding between the front and the rear, there's a lot of factors to keep in mind. So, going to be a little bit up to you guys. Primarily though, I like you here in the front, A, because a lot of our weight here is in our engine is already up front. And as you come to those stops with that snow and ice, right, that weight of our vehicle is going to shift forward. So I think getting that traction control here in that front tire is going to be really integral to make sure that we can actually come to that stop and start plowing our way through that snow and ice. But like I said though, going to be easier and up to you guys if you want the set of two, but let's go ahead and see how we can actually get it installed. To begin our install, what you want to do is lay out your chains just like so. What we're looking for here, any kind of kinks or binds our chains might be in. Sometimes the end of your chains like to just kind of flip. All you got to do, reverse them, walk them out. And usually all you need to do is mess with your chains a little bit and they'll find themselves into their home. Now, a couple things you also have to keep in mind. We want our lever here towards the outside because we're gonna be setting this on our tire and making our connections in the back and in the front. So we definitely want that cam lever on the outside here to make that connection. And then we do need to pay careful attention here to our hook. So what I mean by that, we have our over-unders here and what these are doing, we have a hard part of contact on the top of our chains. And that's why we want to point it up here towards the sky is we don't want that actually making contact with our wheel. That can end up damaging it. Definitely don't want that. And so we want it on the other side as we're going to be laying this on our tire. What I like to do, find myself here in the middle of my chain and then simply get your elbows kind of set here. I like to wing it out. And what that does, make it a little easier to get away from that rim. That way we're not scraping it. And then just to gently set your chain on your wheel like so, start sizing it up, making sure it's nice and even. And I also like to kind of get my bottom connections here, just kind of ready and out of the way. That way as I make my rear connection, they don't get pinched. So you can kind of see that chain itself kind of hitting the way a little bit. It looks like I can shift this over just a little bit more towards the rear of my vehicle. And then another thing I'm taking note of here as I set these on, trying to make my chains as perpendicular as I can to the side chains there. So basically just taking a look here, making sure they're not drifting too much that way. They're staying nice and tight here on our wheel. Now we do need to make our first connection on the inside of our wheel. Now to make our back connection here, we're gonna have our extra chains and our hook on the other side. We're simply gonna slot it in for today. I'm gonna go to about the third chain from the end. And then what I like to do, kind of take a look and see how my chain's sitting here. So I can see it's sitting on my sidewall just as I want it, not making contact with my rim, but not being too shallow either to where it's gonna make my, first, my front connection that much harder. Now we are gonna have these extra 
extra chains for now. We're going to leave them here as we want to make sure we actually have a confirmed fit and we don't actually actually need these chains. But later on, we probably do want to come back and actually snip these guys as they can cause a, a ruckus in the back here or just start interacting with our strut and we definitely don't want that. With our back connection made, we begin to make our front connection. I'm going to try the second chain here, see if I can't get it to work. Looks like I am. We simply slot it there to the bottom of our cam lever and start pulling it back. It can be helpful just to get a little weight there using that thumb to push straight down on that lever, setting your other chain to hook it in place. And just like that, we're nice and secure. So I'm seeing just a hair of movement here. We are staying nice and secure. One other thing you could grab for yourself is going to be a rubber tensioner. However, I really do like how these cam levers work. In my opinion, they do a great job. You know, if I'm pulling on these, I see a little bit of movement, but it's definitely not too necessary. However, if you want to make sure that you're not having drift on your chains, making sure they're staying nice and tight to your wheel, a rubber tensioner is always a nice addition. Overall though, very, very decent chains here. I think they're going to do the job we need of getting us there safely. Otherwise, I think that about does it for our look here today at the PWAG all square snow tire chains on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching.